Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and I am back with another video on the channel. Today we're going to be playing more Plants vs Zombies widescreen. And if you didn't know, Plants vs Zombies widescreen is a mod of the original Plants vs Zombies which gives it widescreen and enhanced visuals. Evening, Jesse. These zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can, and you'll be a o good. Okay, so I got a new plant, Puff Shroom. It shoots uh, short range spores at the enemy. Given that some um, short range attacker, I'm gonna be placing it on the fourth column. while saving up sun for like my stronger attackers. <coughs> I think you guys may have noticed before that, that there was a guy with like a, a newspaper. <coughs> yeah, his name is a uh, newspaper zombie. What he does is the newspaper protects him from front-facing attacks. And when the newspaper is destroyed, he becomes angry and runs faster. And we're about to see it in action. Right after these few enemy waves pass. <coughs> While I'm waiting here, I want to say something. Puff Shroom is mandatory for these levels. Due to like sun being worth less in this game. Due to the sun meta being 25 instead of 50, unlike in PvZ2. I'll cover it more when I get to Plants vs Zombies too, but for now, understand that the Sun meta is a bit against you. So it's best to bring some help along the way. And here he is, Newspaper Zombie. bring some help with um snow pea the snow peas may not be able to inflict the chill effect due to newspaper in front but the slow effect will work when newspaper is destroyed and luckily the newspaper is pretty fragile Now, you're all probably wondering, what are these, um, stones on the lawn? Well, these are the gravestones. When the final wave approaches, the zombies will pop out of the gravestones. Watch. And we got a new plant, Puff 
um, Sunshroom. Sunshroom. Give small sun first and normal sun later. <coughs> hey, you've collected 270 coins so far. When you collect 750, I'll sell you something really neato. Okay. Thanks, Crazy Dave. Alright. Now that we've got Sunshroom, which is cheaper, allowing you to place it earlier on, more of them, we should be okay. Let's bring a Sunshroom to help out the Puff Shrooms. And like I said before, Sunshroom is mandatory for these levels. And so is Puff Shroom. Without them, your options really boil down to um, strategic usage of potato mine and walnut. Other strategies don't do too well as they get overwhelmed by the lack of sun falling from the sky in these levels. Sorry, I'm coughing a little bit too much. I've been feeling uh, a little sick these days. Not exactly sure why. But don't worry. We have Potato Mine to help us with the cone head. Approaching. This will work. Alright everyone, I am back with another part of the video. My dad was calling me to help him with the chores. And I am back. Alright, the zombies are approaching. Let's make good use of these plants. Alright. Man, these zombies are pretty weak. Look at me. I'm taking care of them perfectly. That's another cherry bomb. No, I'll place another potato mine in case. 
Let's bring up the entire wall defense. Can I hold him off? Can we do this? Yes! We got a new plant. Fume Shroom. Fume Shroom shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. And they also pass through all enemies in an area. Which is pretty nice. It's time to place more sun shrooms in the front. And when I have enough help, I'll replace these um, puff shrooms later with um, fume shroom. Who is a pretty good plant, by the way? I mean, his ability to hit all enemies in an area is pretty nice. Right? Right, I got enough for a uh, fume shroom. This guy will fire projectiles that pass through all enemies, which is pretty nice. And it has more range than puff shroom, so. That's also nice. I'm gonna help out with, um, Walnut. Oh no, there he is, Screen Door Zombie. Screen door zombie has a screen door which protects him from basic projectiles, but it doesn't really protect him from certain attacks that pierce through objects, like fume shroom. Which ignores it completely. is pretty nice man look at fume shroom this is funny Look at these zombies fail. <laughs> well, here comes a huge wave.
Well, there's more zombies approaching, but not to worry. The fume shroom will pierce through all those enemies. And we got a brand new plant. Grave Buster! A plant that removes graves in area. Hey, wanna buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you 750. Bill, you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. How's that sound? That sounds nice. All right, and when you save about 5,000, I'll tell you about the eight seed slot upgrade. Check later. Well, here he is, guys. Pole Vaulter. Oh, wait a minute. I have seven seed slots. I can bring Snow Pea to help out. Right. Plants for the win. I think. Or oh, we got two waves of enemies. Yeah, this is one of the times I wish uh, PVZ had like a fast forward feature. Like um, most other tower defense games at the time. Like one of my favorite um, tower defense games, um, Bloons Tower Defense 5. Which I should get to completing in the next video. And I'm also scared of the other enemies that will make their reappearances here. Like Pole Vaulter! Oh no, here it comes! With his super speed! Fortunately, we removed all the graves. Which gives us more areas to place our plants. Right. We're gonna take down these enemies. Oh no, here comes screen doors. Dun, 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 dun. Well, here comes the enemy nobody likes. The Speedy Boy. With a pole. That allows him to jump over almost everyone. I 
I'm just gonna place this to prevent him from using his ability. There are a lot of enemies that can be negated from using their abilities by placing plants over them. Watch this again. The fact that there's so many enemies like this in this game is kind of hilarious to me. More on that later. But what you need to know for the basics is that the the special zombies, you know, the enemies with the special abilities, aren't as common as in later games. And you've got some coins and an almanac. Let's see what the almanac entails. Ah, it keeps track of all plants and zombies I encounter. Nice. Few plants. <clears throat> Ever play a game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting squirbos. You know little furry rodents dig holes in the lawn? In Seattle it's like that, but instead of squirbos, it's zombies. Instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. Instead of me, it's you! Okay. Well, pow! Okay, there's more graves popping out. Okay, this is a great way to make some extra coins. Given that grave busters will cause uh, the graves they destroy to drop coins. When they're done, of course. And it causes less zombies to spawn in the final wave. Which is pretty nice as well. The zombies are getting faster. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a bucket head. Oh my god. And I jinxed it. Final wave. Alright, before I get the plant, I'm just gonna destroy one more grave and... Cha-ching! I got a new plant and tons of coins. The new plant is Hypno Shroom. It basically turns the enemies 
the zombies against their former allies. <coughs> Makes them fight for you, basically. Well, everyone, that'll be it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to hit the notification bell icon so you never miss a video. Follow my Discord for sneak peeks on upcoming videos. And make sure... And I'll even leave a link below for the mod if you want to try it. Once again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jesse, and I'll see you all in the following video. Bye!